批。所以，我们基于这样的一个科学的考虑呢，把这两个把赵树刚博士的项目呢放到了两个地方，一个地方是长江上游的河金沙江上游的河庆地区，一个是快进入长江的，在宜宾上面的水库地区，主要是放在这两个点。Taking land away from the farmers without just compensation. It's a very, very serious you know, act of rebellion. An emperor would tell you, you can take all my gold, you can take all my concubine, you can take my wife, but if you want to take an inch of my soil, I'll fight you until death. is really bad. Uh, when it's dry, it's, it's bad, but when it's wet, it's really, really, you know, uh, bad and dangerous because it could be slippery and it's a uh, mud-based and uh, some parts of gravel. So if you're not careful, you could uh, fish tail very quickly and very easily. The Eco Project gave me a chance to see the other side of China in a totally different perspective. Ever since 1999, I had a chance to travel to the poor side of China. And I see farmers in Yunnan making subsistence farming income. Basically, they eat what they grow and they just survive. So I was uh, determined that there's something that we should do. I just said, this project, we can start, but how far we can go, I had no confidence at the time. The Sui Fu Forestry Bureau were very confident they knew what to do. And uh, they made a plan to plant fruit trees and uh, some bamboo and uh, a few other deciduous trees. I think altogether, uh, the Shifu site, we planted over 1,000 acres. Now, normally the rain will come in March in Shifu. And then you plant them in January and plant them in December. And then, of course, the rain came and just in time and everything going to be fine. So everybody was hoping for that because that has been the way. Came March, no rain. No rain April, no rain in May. And the seedlings start to die because, you know, they just hot, dry, the worst drought they had in 100 years. When I visited and saw the decimation, and everybody was just so sad, but they showed all the pictures how they never ignore the problem and how they participate in the whole thing. When I came to inspect, all the plants were dying, and the farmer tried to carry water to feed it. I said, no, 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 that's not the way. Even you try to show me your effort, I appreciate it. But the plant is already dying, and it's not going to survive from your, this little amount of water. We learned a lesson the hard way. Of course, farmers were disappointed because, you know, they knew that that was a very unusual year. So they knew it should grow, but just unfortunately it was a, it was a bad year. But the government was very cognizant of the problem. On the one hand, nobody to blame other than the weather. On the other hand, we cannot let, you know, Dr. Chow down because, you know, we didn't succeed in this first part. So basically what they did was later on, I think the year, the second or third year, they made up all the acreage losses without any charge to the eco fund. And they replanted everything, you know, with the proper species. This should be said, this 首先，我们对他们的培训呢，应该是让他们首先认识到这个树种的，就是可以为他们带来什么好处，让他们喜欢这个树种。那这个食用技术呢，应该是从最开始，就是从这个挖塘，呃，定植
，然后呢，这个保水、保土、施肥、病虫害管理，然后采收、呃修剪，整个的这个。呃，一个整个就是造林技术整个环节的所有环节的进行一个培训。Bamboo qualifies both as economic and also as an ecological tree species. So therefore, you can plant 100% of your land with bamboo, and being a fast growing, it holds the soil very well. And secondly, bamboo gives you bamboo shoots, so you can you know derive economic return very quickly. 刚开头还是不太及时，哎，就是一个认识、理解过程。通过最近的实施以后，现在这个群众这个意识都增强了。一百多亩，很厉害哦！啊，以前都是种，以前都是种种种种庄稼嘛，种庄稼就太慢了。庄稼是啥子？就是包谷。从这个培训来看呢，我们最后培训了，呃，差不多有四千位农户。通过最后的这个效果来看呢。这个我们一些很多好的，包括这个一些好的品种的引进，一些培育技术，你们看到的这个斑驳，这个竹子啊，还有这个呃梨、花椒，应该说是农民都起到了实惠，得到了效益。赵博士，工程你觉得跟这个我们这边的老百姓的有什么关系啊？这个相当的好嘛。好，刚才我就讲了呢，就是，那么现在赵博士搞这个工程，对于我们一些种农民庄稼来说，现在拿这个工程搞起来，对我们省了相当多，呃，相当最最大的力嘛，就是这个，我们主要就是第一就是省力。这个赵博士工程实施嘛，这个得到群众的拥护，这工程实施以后嘛。我们周围的环境得到改善，群众从中得到实惠，同时也体现了他们这个也进一步要求的要实施类似的工程，跟他们、跟我们的生存环境和今后的经济发展带来好处。嗯，因为是地址已经成熟了，又可以卖得到钱了。啥子都可以了，啥子都体现我们农村的农民就幸福了，那啥子就，但是地址又成熟了以后，交通又方便，又销路又快了。I could choose other places, okay, but、uh, I think China needs more help. In the rural areas, I believe they still need a lot of help. Even if I just feed them with money, they can use them up in a year or a month. That's useless. If we teach them how to plant and harvest, then they will benefit from that point on. Hopefully, it's self-sustaining. This is just usually we don't have any land use, but this is you can see how much land we have. Just the same amount. Ah, so you have this land use. Good. Yeah. Ten years ago, we were planting. Uh. 七百万就可以，公司才能去卖。好，谢谢谢谢。呃，经济效益还是很高的，机会难得。哎，难得。赵赵博士，这个这次正好正好有空回来，那就过来说看一看，看看。其实呢，我们欢迎欢迎你随时回来，好，回我们来看。Okay. After a rocky start, the Sui Fu Sai proved to be successful, but even tougher challenges lay ahead. Hoqin Xian is in the south of China, and is also in the Yunnan State area. The total area is 2,395公里,人口是27万。目前,实际上,全县的人口92%是在农业和农村。在这一块。Now this site is very significant because this is one of the national sites designated by the Ministry of Forestry, essentially. What it means is that 
This site will get lots of national resources to help to demonstrate that this national policy of converting a cropland back into forest or grassland indeed can be done. Of course, we studied a lot. What should we plant here? And that will give us a quick holding of the soil, but also a very quick economic return for the farmers who you know, participated using their land. So we decided to plant mulberry. And the mulberry, of course, is not new in China, but it's fairly new in this area. Yeah, 只在云南。在云南，云南算西部对不对？那在河清的还是到别的地方去呢？哦，其实是还不知道。不知道在哪里啊？要要要要要分发报了名了是吧？嗯。OK。We oh, okay. used the Eco Fund to purchase the very best seedlings from Zhejiang, tracking them in 2,000, 3,000 kilometers, and then teach them how to plan, with roughly a thousand farm families participating. And the consequence, of course is that they grow, they grow beautifully. And even the first year, by taking the leaves, raising the silkworm, their income had improved over 40%. Between two four to five to six, income continue to increase. So the magnitude is quite drastic. But even better, the soil is held because below this field, there is a lake. Before, it's a mud pond. Each year, you got to drag the mud away in order for the water to be used as a reservoir. Dirty and, and very, very, very muddy. But two years after we planted this, no more soil will be washed down into that pond. Water comes back, becomes clear water. Now we can put a fish in the water. Farmers now can not only eat the fish, they can now fish the fish and sell the fish for further income. You know, seven fish, seven fish. Wow. What does she have? Wow. 这么大平面的房子做农民也有文化知识我们是不识字这一块呢就是我们一些这个华医啊它都能够慷慨的减了拿出资金来支持我们做生态建设婚生的保护一颗这个基金会在合庆这一块呢点虽然不是那么大但我觉得它的效果这一块呢应能讲还是挺好的这个也是挺大的因为呢就是他告诉我们大家都要善待自然保护自然